is Karina, my beautiful daughter. Karina has cerebral palsy quadriplegia. I've only started coming to terms with it after about two years. It means that Karina will probably be in the wheelchair for the rest of her life. She's fully dependent on me as her main carer and her dad um, helps a lot when he's not at work. Probably when Karina was about eight months old, I had a meeting with a social worker and the physio came to my home from the Cerebral Palsy Alliance and they were really supportive and they were talking about therapies and how they can help Karina. And we started off with physio and occupational therapy and speech pathologists coming to our home to help our family through the journey. Every parent wants their child to walk and talk and we kind of cried a lot and thought how will she make friends if she can't walk around and she can't talk and we've now learnt that there are other ways through the Cerebral Palsy Alliance. So I met Karina about two years ago now. It was evident straight away that they had a lot of equipment needs. What would take one family half an hour to get through with a, a two-year-old was taking Kate around two hours. So that was our big priority, making life a little bit easier and easing the caring burden. So the stroller, when we first met Kate and Karina, was really meeting her needs, but that really quickly changed. Karina had, a, had some surgery and that's changed her physical well-being, which meant that we had to be a bit more attentive to her posture. At the moment, Karina's in a pretty poor position in the stroller. She's really grown out of it. Uh, it's not providing adequate support around her body and her head. Also, Kate decided to enter Karina a little bit earlier into school, and it was really essential for us to be able to facilitate Karina, to be able to participate in all of those activities that would happen at school. We've been waiting over a year. We started the process of applying for wheelchair over a year ago, and unfortunately, we've come across many funding barriers. The responsiveness required for a child of Karina's age really needs to be quite quick and, and unfortunately things haven't been moving for us. So we really want her to be the person that she is. I think the Cerebral Palsy Alliance gives Karina the best chance of any goals that I could ever want because they're not just here for a job, they're here because they genuinely care about these kids and about the adults. Like they're probably the best charity that I would ever recommend to anybody. They've been so supportive to our family and to little Karina and they never give up on her. They're just always there for us. <laughs>